Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm gonna show you a different recipe. A recipe that is also very popular in my home. Rice pudding. And it is so easy. And people make such a big fuss about it that it's so hard, it is not. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Of course, everybody has their own ways of doing. They have their own recipes. And sometimes we don't have all the ingredients, so we're going to compromise and see what where we do. First, let's start from the rice. I use uh, small little rice. It's um, uh, you have a lose your mind. I can't remember now. It's pearl rice. Okay, there it is. I use pearl rice. That's the only rice I use for rice pudding. I don't use nothing else. I don't wash my rice pudding. I check, see if there's anything, any impurities, but other than that, I don't, I don't wash it. I use butter, lots of butter, whole milk, lots of whole milk, and sugar. I usually use um, uh, the lemon zest, but I'm out of lemon, so I'm gonna use lemon extract. That'll do it. So in here in the saucepan, I'm going to put, I'm going to do three cups of rice. So I have here eight cups of whole milk. And don't try to substitute for fat-free milk and all that other stuff. You're going to have rice pudding, you use um, the whole milk because that's the only way um, you're going to get a good rice pudding. I'm um, going to add the butter. This is unsalted butter because that's what I have in my fridge. I have any other fridge regular butter with salt, but I was too lazy to go get it. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use two, um, two of the cubes of butter. Uh, I got this recipe years ago from an old lady then. Um, used to go to church and she always everybody talked about uh, this lady's um, rice pudding and I always wondered what's so she showed me it's the butter it's the the milk sometimes I even use half milk and half um, half and half or cream whatever you, that doesn't have to be you know that specific you can do it the more butter rich, the better. Because you want creamy. I like a rice pudding that is creamy. I don't like a rice pudding that is hard. And sometimes there's people who make it that you can cut it with a knife. I don't like that. I like a light uh, rice pudding, creamy. So I'm gonna have, I have two cups of sugar. And my, the sugar is up to you. If you're gonna have rice pudding, I like to have some sugar. So um, I do two cups and if I see that it needs more, it's not up to, um, I might add more later. But for now, I'm gonna just add two cups. So I'm gonna let this come to kind of just melt the butter and kind of just start um, warming up and then the milk start forming little bubbles. Um, on the edges that's when you know that the milk is uh, hot enough and then I'm gonna pour my rice so I'm gonna baby this and then I'll come back uh, our butter has melted and let me show you everything is melted and uh, so now I'm gonna add my rice Add all my rice and I'm gonna stir stir all this and then this I would have if I had lemon zest I would have had the lemon zest already in there but since I don't so I'm gonna put um, the lemon extract I'm gonna put two tablespoons I like a little lemony. So, 
two tablespoons. Well, two tablespoons and a little bit more. It won't kill. So I'm gonna stir this and let it come to a boil or to a simmer. Then I'm gonna turn off the oven, I mean the stove, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. I put it in the oven at 250 with the lid on and it'll sit there for maybe about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And I like this because I like it that way. I'm not stirring, I'm not here and stirring my rice pudding and I'm not, you know, um, filling my stove. So as um, soon as it comes to a simmer, Turn, put the lid on, put in the oven at 250 for about 30, 40 minutes. So I'll come back. Okay, I'm back to finish my rice. My rice uh, was in the, in the oven for 40 minutes. So now I'm just gonna stir right, stir right. Oh, what a mess. Am I making messes? Well, I'm the one who cleans it, so anyway. So I'm going to stir right here and I'm going to see if I need more liquid. The rice is all cooked. That's what I love about doing in the oven. When you're in the oven, it, you don't have to worry about um, burning, but at the same time, all the liquid is absorbed into the rice and the rice is um, cooked all the way through. When you do on top of the stove, sometimes you're stirring here for hours, a long time, and uh, the rice is still raw inside. So um, it looks creamy enough for me, so I don't need to add no more, um, no more milk, but I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. So I said, this is a very rich rice pudding. That's why that rice pudding is, so I'm adding another uh, cube of butter. So total is, three cubes of butter. So a cup and a half. So I'm going to stir this and keep the, the stove on low because at this stage, it's very easy for the rice to, um, to stick to the bottom. So just keep stirring all the time. I'm gentle and I, so I'm going to keep stirring until all that butter is melted. And once the butter is melted, I'm going to add eggs. Um, some people just add the egg yolk. I add the, oh, the whole egg. Um, I used to just add the yolk, but I, I find adding the whole um, eggs not gonna, not going to do it's, you can't tell the difference. If anything, if you beat this egg really good and make it fluffy, it kind of probably gives some air to the rice pudding and it makes it more fluffy. So I'm gonna beat this egg real good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna temper the eggs. Well, tempering the eggs is I'm gonna add a little bit of this into my eggs and I'm gonna stir. And what you're doing is you're bringing the eggs to the temperature of that. If I dump this in there, we would have scrambled eggs. I don't want scrambled eggs. So I keep adding a little bit more and you, you stir. Now, if I dump all this here, then We'll be fine. We won't have no sperm eggs. So I'm going to stir this and mix, incorporate all those eggs good with the rice. I remember a few years ago, I was making rice pudding for an event, and I had to make a lot of rice pudding. And this lady said, you can't make all that rice pudding. How are you gonna make it? 
I says, I'm going to do it in the oven. And she says, in the oven? You can't make rice pudding in the oven. Well, I made her a true believer by the end of the day. She could not believe it that I had made rice pudding um, in the oven. So, um, anyway, it's never, you can never say never until you try it. So, maybe this ladle. And I'm gonna scoop into my uh, into my plate. And like I said, let me show you how creamy this is. It's very creamy. See? And that's what I like. And it will stay that way because of all that butter. So I'm gonna ladle this to my to my dish. the rice pudding for all my kids and now I'm decorating this this is up to you you don't have to do this this tedious you know doesn't have to be this complicated and it's not I like to see it decorated nice so all I'm grabbing is a pinch of, uh, of um, cinnamon and then just drizzling a design over the rice pudding and that's all there is to it um, one thing I wanted to say I did lemon on this because that's what I'm used to it my mom used to make it with lemon um, I like it with lemon but you don't have to do it with lemon you can do with vanilla you can do with almond almond extract um, whatever flavor you like, um, but this is what I'm, I'm used to it and all my kids and, uh, um, the amount of sugar, the same thing. This one is just right. Did not need it no more. So for three cups of rice, I use two cups of sugar. Sometimes people make it so too sweet. I don't I don't care for too sweet so anyway so I finished my rice pudding it's all decorated and it give me three nice little containers uh, I mean this for my kids and this is for us this is enough for us for my my husband my son and and I this is will be just just enough so um so you here you have uh, rice pudding very easy and if you do in the oven you have no problem you don't have to sit over the stove and stirring and worrying about is it gonna burn and all this put it in the oven let it do it is thing there and then when it's done finish up um, on the stove and in no time you'll have rice pudding so I will put the recipe um, um, with the with this video so that way if you want to make it go ahead and you have it and uh, please check all my videos on YouTube and if you haven't subscribed I would say please uh, I appreciate it if you did um, so and if you have any comments any suggestions um, Oh, I just want to say hi. I appreciate all the comments. So, um, until next time, enjoy and have a good day.